When air pollution worsens, it can be harmful to health. Studies show that even small increases in air pollution can cause increases in emergency room visits, hospitalizations, and deaths. Today we are learning about the Air Quality Health Index with champions at Halton Region and finding out about the link between air quality and your health. This is Daily Web TV. Can air pollution affect asthma and allergies? Air pollution can make asthma symptoms worse. It can reduce somebody's lung function as well as increase respiratory infections as well as make children more sensitive to allergens. And in fact, people who have asthma really need to make sure that they manage their asthma much more closely when air quality is poor. And by that I mean that they need to make sure that they are on alert for the first signs and symptoms that their asthma is getting worse, as well as making sure that they're using their medications to relieve and control symptoms. How does the quality of air impact your health and your family's health? I have asthma and bad air quality uh, makes it very difficult for me to breathe. I have a little girl and I'm concerned because children are very susceptible to bad air quality. How do you make use of the Air Quality Health Index to protect your health? I use it to plan ahead. It tells me the best time of day to get outside and when to reduce my outdoor activities. It also reminds us of the need to protect the environment. For example, cars are a major source of air pollution and if we reduce driving, we can reduce the number of bad air days. I for one don't own a car. For more information on air quality and climate change in Halton, visit their website at halton.ca slash air quality. Or for information on the Air Quality Health Index, visit halton.ca slash AQHI. I'm Tracy Bazot and this is Daily Web TV.